Hi everyone, welcome to SciMath Academy. In this video, I'm gonna show you that how to divide decimal by whole numbers. So, if you know about the division of decimals by whole number, then congratulations. But if you don't know about the division of decimals by whole number, then don't worry. In this video, I will teach you how to divide decimal by whole number. After watching this video, you will be able to divide any number of decimal number by whole numbers. So watch the video till the end and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos related to mathematics. So we will start from example 12.6 divided by 3. So 12.6 divided by 3. So how many times does 3 goes into 12? Right? So 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract the 12 from the 12, the remainder is 0. Now here we see that this is decimal point and this is 6 so we cannot directly bring down the 6 near 0 right so we will put the decimal point after the 4 and the quotient now we can bring down the 6 near 0 right so we will bring down the 6 near 0 now how many times does 3 goes into 6 so 3 times 2 is 6 subtract the 6 from the 6 the remainder is 0 so we can say that 12.6 divided by 3 is equal to 4.2 because this is the answer. So 12.6 divided by 3 is equal to 4.2. Now let's take another example 18.9 divided by 3. Now how many times does 3 goes into 18? So 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract the 18 from the 18, the remainder is 0. Put the decimal point and the quotient just above the decimal point and the dividend. Right? Now bring down the 9 down. Now how many times does 3 goes into 9? So 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract the 9 from 9, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 18.9 divided by 3 is equal to 6.3. Now we will pause the video and comment answer of 5.6 divided by 2 in the comment section, right? Solve this question and write the answer in the comment section. Now let's we try another example 0 0.84 divided by 6. Right, so we will divide 0 0.84 by 6 and we will put the decimal point according to the dividend and the final answer. Let's suppose that 84 is just like whole numbers, right? So 84 divided by 6. So how many times does 6 goes into 8? So 6 times 1 is 6. Subtract the 6 from 8, the remainder is 2. Bring down the 4 near 2 which makes 2, 24. Now how many times does 6 goes into 24? So 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract the 24 from 24, the remainder is 0. No. So whenever we are dividing 84 by 6, the answer is 14. So we can say that 84 divided by 6 is equal to 14. Here we see that we have divided 0 0.84 by 6. And there are two decimal places and 0 0.84, right? So we will carry the decimal point and the answer two places from right to the left, right? So this is the one place is this and this is the second place, right? So when we are dividing 0 0.4, 0 0.84 divided by 6, which will be equal to 0 0.14. Let's try to solve this question in another way. So 0 0.84 divided by 6, right? So we will multiply 6 with such a number such that their product is either equal to 0 0.84 or less than 0 0.84. So we will multiply 6 with 0. So 6 times 0 is 0. Subtract the 0 from 0 and we cannot directly bring down the 0 0.84 down. Right? We will put the decimal point after the 0 and the quotient just above the decimal point in the dividend. Right? Now we can bring down the 8 down right and subtract the 0 from 0 and bring down the 8 uh, near 0 right now how many times does 6 goes into 8 so 6 times 1 is 6 subtract the 6 from the 8 the remainder is 2 now bring down 8 near 2 which make at 24 right so 6 times 4 is 24 
subtract 24 from 24 the remainder is 0 right so 0 0.84 divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.14 that is the final answer which is equal to the original answer in the other method now you are going to divide another number 5.6 divided by 2 so 5.6 divided by 2 how many times does 2 goes into 5 so 2 times 2 is 4 subtract the 4 from the 5 the remainder is 1 here we see that we cannot directly bring down the 6 near 1 to make at 16 because there is a decimal point so we'll put the decimal point in the quotient after the 2 right and we'll bring down the 6 near 1 to make at 16 so how many times does 2 goes into 16? So 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract the 16 from 16, the remainder is 0. So 5.6 divided by 2 is equal to 2.8. Now I'm going to solve another example. 0 0.024 divided by 8. So 0 0.024 divided by 8. Here we see that 0 0.024 is less than 8. And we cannot directly divide this number by the 8, right? We will multiply 8 with such a number such that their product is either equal to this number or less than this number, right? So we will multiply 8 with 0. So 8 times 0 is 0. Subtract the 0 from 0, the remainder is 0 right we cannot directly bring this uh, zero down because there is a decimal point so we'll put the decimal point in the quotient after the zero and bring this zero ne near this zero right now how many times does add goes into zero so add times zero is zero again subtract the zero from zero the remainder is zero now we will bring down the two near zero right Again, here we see that 2 is less than 8, so we will uh, multiply 8 by such number such that the product of 8 and that number is either equal to 2 or less than 2. So we will multiply 8 by 0. So 8 times 0 is 0. Right? Subtract the 0 from 2, the remainder is 2. Right? Now bring down this 4 near 2 to make a 24. Now how many times does 8 goes into 24? So 8 times 3 is 24. Subtract the 24 from 24, the remainder is 0. So we can say that whenever we are dividing 0 0.024 by 8, the answer will be 0 0.003. Now I am going to solve another example 1.46 divided by 8. So 1.46 divided by 8. Here we see that 1.46 is less than 8. Right, so we will multiply it with such number such that uh, its product is either equal to 1 or less than 1. So we will multiply it with 0. So 8 times 0 is 0. Subtract the 0 from 1, the remainder is 1. Now here we see that there is a decimal point. So we will put the decimal point and the quotient and bring down the 4 near 1, which make at 14. So how many times does 8 goes into 14? So 8 times 1 is 8 subtract the 8 from the 14 the remainder is 6 now we will bring down the 6 near 6 to make it 66 right so how many times does 8 goes into 66 so 8 times 8 is 64 subtract the 64 from 66 the remainder is 2 so when we divide 1 point 4, 6 by 8, the answer will be 0 0.18 with the remainder of 2. 1.46 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.18 with the remainder 2. Now I'm going to start another question. 0 0.05 divided by 5, right? So 0 0.05 divided by 5. No, again 0 0.05 is less than 5 so we will multiply 5 as such a number such that your product is either equal to 0 0.05 or less than 0 0.05 right so 5 times 0 is 0 subtract the 0 from 0 the remainder is 0 now we cannot bring down the 0 near 0 so we will put the decimal point after the 0 and the quotient just above the decimal point and the dividend right so we will bring down the 0 near 0 again we cannot divide 0 by 5 so we will multiply 5 with 0 
So 5 times 0 is 0, subtract the 0 from 0, the remainder is 0. Right now we will bring down the 5 near 0, right? Now how many times does 5 goes into 5? So 5 times 1 is 5. Subtract the 5 from 5, the remainder is 0, right? So we can say that 0 0.05 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.01. That is the final answer. So dear viewers, if you have liked the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such interesting videos related to mathematics.